Hello, my dear students. Welcome to Term 2 Class 10 Computer Applications. In this class, we will be discussing about how can we embed audio and video file in a HTML page. If you're watching my channel for the first time, do subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell button to get the future notifications. Keep learning and keep sharing the video with your friends. Let's begin. First one we are going to see is how can we insert an audio file in a web page? The tag used to insert an audio file is audio. Audio is the tag used to insert an audio file in a HTML page. There are three supported audio formats. They are MP3, WAV, and OGG. I'll be showing this practically, but let's see what all are the commands and what are the attributes of this audio tag. So the tag is audio for inserting the audio file. And the syntax for the audio file, audio tag is audio, after that source, then some more attributes. And after that, you have to close the audio tag. That means audio tag is a container tag. It has the opening tag as well as the closing tag. Here in between the opening and closing tag, you can pass any message. That message will be displayed only if your web browser is not supporting this audio tag. If it is supporting, that message will be ignored by the web browser. Let's see what all are the audio tag attributes. First attribute is SRC, that is source. It specifies the location or path of the audio file you want to insert. But you have to copy that audio file into the folder where you are going to save your HTML file. Similar way you have done for the IMG tag. You will be copying that IMG or JPEG image or whatever be the image file format to your folder. Similar way, here also, you have to copy the audio file to the folder where you are saving your HTML file. Second attribute is controls. It will be adding the audio controls like play, pause, and volume to the audio player. Autoplay plays automatically the audio file when the page is loaded, but most of the browsers are not supporting this attribute. Loop will help you to or replace the file once it get over. Keep on repeating. Preload is another attribute of audio tag, specifies how and when the audio file should be loaded. The preload attribute is ignored if autoplay is present. Similar to autoplay, preload attribute also ignored or not supported by many of the browsers. Another attribute is muted. The audio file will be played muted. That means the volume symbol will be muted by default. But you can click on that, you can enable it. So again, we were, again, I'll just tell you, we have seen that audio tag as well as its attributes. Okay, now, before moving to the video file, or the video, how can we insert a video file in the web page? We will see how can we insert this audio file practically. So that I'm just showing you my folder where I have saved my audio file that is song.mp3. Now let's take my editor. I'm typing the commands HTML after that body tag, after that h1 for the heading. Okay inserting an audio file. We have a page. After that, close H1 tag. Okay. I'm just using the audio tag, audio SRC, specifying the location. My name is, my, the name of my file is song.mp3, song.mp3. After that, I'm just giving another attribute controls to get the controls of the audio player. Then I'm closing. I'm just uh, typing some command to show you that your browser is not supported. Okay. 
okay and after that i'm closing the audio tag save my file okay taken the web page you can see this audio file is played you can see heading inserting an audio file to a web page that appear over here inserting an audio file to a web page audio src that's the name of file is appear control if i have removed this attribute i'll just show you if i have removed this attribute the controls will not be seen to you you can see that will not be visible the audio player will not be visible but if i have given this controls attributes you can see it is displayed okay it is keeping on playing you can see it is playing isn't it now another function is like autoplay i told you it's not supported in my browser autoplay we check out once again many of the browser it is not supporting i'm saving my work I just refresh the page. You can see it's not supporting in my browser. Autoplay muted also I have given. I'm keen trying with muted. Okay, I'm just saving my work. Okay, refresh it. You can see muted it is working. You can see automatically this volume symbol is muted. And if you click on that, the sound you cannot hear over here. Okay, but the autoplay is not supported by my browser. Again, another one is what? Loop loop means it will keep on repeating isn't it once it got over again it will start repeating you can see again the control is here right now i just save my work okay refresh the page okay i just click on play i'll show you how is the control passing you can see over here it's moving my sound i have muted that's why you cannot hear the sound See the control till it is going to reach the end. It reached after that it started from the beginning. It's continuing. You can see the movement. That means loop also will be working. Preload also similar to the autoplay. Well, if you are using the autoplay, preload will not come. Even if you are using the preload, you can see that preload equal to can give like none okay or uh, we can give the metadata but that is also not supported my browser okay the audio file will not be loaded Okay, fine. So once again, so what is that we have learned? We have learned how to insert an audio file in a web page. Now, one more thing is there. You can see I have written here in between the audio and the audio tag, opening and closing of audio tag, what your browser is not supported. Why? But that is not displaying in your web page, okay? So why? Because my audio file, audio controller is supporting. That is, I can play my audio file. That's why this message is not supported. If your browser is not supporting this audio tag, you can see this message. Okay, here I didn't close the body tag and HTML tag. Don't forget that. That too, you have to uh, close it. So we have seen practically how can we insert the audio file. Again, telling you have to copy the audio file to your folder where you are saving your web page html file after that you have to type the commands that is audio src equal to what is the name of the file controls will display the controller okay after that autoplay it's not supported in my browser muted it will mute the player and open loop means what it will keep on repeating replaying this one once it's got over it reaches the end it will start again from the beginning and this message you are passing will not be displayed if your browser is supporting the audio tag otherwise it will be this message will be displayed and that's all 
hope this is clear class now we will just move on to another topic we are going to learn today that is how can we insert a video file into a web page let's see its commands and its attribute so for inserting a video file in a web page the tag used is video tag video video tag is used to insert video files in a html page there are three supported video formats they are mp4 webm and ogg the tag is similar to the audio tag that is video instead of audio we will give like video src equal to what is the name of the file and under the attributes of the video tag okay and uh, almost all the attributes are similar to the audio tag okay we'll just see what all are the video tags in detail video tag attributes in detail first attribute is src specifies the location or path of the video file you want to insert here also you have to copy the audio sorry video file to the folder where you are saving your html file controls adds video controls like play pause and volume to the video player auto play again plays automatically to the video file when the page is loaded but uh, auto play is not supported by the browser like the audio one audio file but when we are using autoplay along with muted it is supporting autoplay is working loop replace the files once it got over preload specify how and when the video file should be loaded muted i told you the video file will be played muted hide so till this match till muted that uh, all the attributes are similar to the audio tag we are having another three more attribute they are hide with and poster hide will set the height of the video's display area width will set the width of the video's display area poster it will set the thumbnail for your video file like you are seeing or setting or inserting a youtube you are seeing no a thumbnail image like that way you can set for your video image again i'm telling once again repeating video is the tab for inserting the video file and the commands or the attributes related to video tag are src controls autoplay loop preload muted height width and poster let's see practically how can we insert a video file into a web page for that i told you i have for the poster i have copied a picture and also a video file into the folder where i have my html page so i just open my notepad okay i'm just going to comment this one okay so that it will not be shown in my browser i'm commenting this one and i'm starting the video code for video inserting a video so first one is what html then the body tag then what is that h1 inserting the video file inserting the video file to a web page close h1 after that video src equal to my in video name is nature nature dot mp4 then controls okay after that i close the video tag close the body tag close the html tag i save my file see i just refresh it you can see my video is displayed i mute the audio and just play the video you can see the video is playing the video you can see you can maximize it all the controls you will be get if you are removing this controls you will not be able to see this control or the video player i just show you like the audio file if you are removing this one controls attribute what will happen 
that will be no that play button that no like play button that will not be visible to you so if you want to get that controls of the video player you have to use the attribute controls save it refresh it now that play button all came right now now if you want like auto play if i told you like auto play when i'm using like auto play attribute we'll just check out why similar whether it is supporting it's not supporting over here but autoplay is supporting for the video file when i'm using together autoplay muted okay just save my work refresh it you can see autoplay is working over here but it is muted autoplay muted together that is working for the video file but it's not working for the audio file then another one is like loop you can give that means the video once it reaches the end, it will keep on beginning from the end. So I'm just starting, just showing you whether it, the loop is working or not. You can see, save my work. See again, it is continuing. So that loop is also repeating, keeping on repeating. Another one I have told you is like height and width. So height and width I can specify. Okay, height equal to I'm giving, you can give your own value. I'm giving height equal to 400, width equal to 400. In pixels you are giving. So I'm specifying the height and width for my file. I'm saving my work. I just refresh it. You can see the height and width of the old video display area is reduced to 400 pixels. You can see that one. It has reduced to 400 pixels. Now, you can also, I told you another way, another thing is that you can also set the thumbnail for your image. So poster is the attribute for setting the thumbnail for your image. So what is the, my name of the image is like nature.jpg. So poster is equal to nature.jpg. Okay, I just save my work, okay, and refresh the page, you can see, this one second, because I have given the autoplay, it's not visible to you, I'll remove the autoplay, refresh the page, this is the image, you can see this is my image. I have saved this image nature.jpg. This is my image. You can see right now as the thumbnail. When I click on play, it will play. When I click on that page, it's if it's play. So hope this is clear. How can we insert an audio and video file to your web page? Let's have a summary of what we have learned today. Today, in this section, in this class, we have learned two tags and its attribute first tag is audio tag for inserting an audio file to the web page and the syntax for the audio tag is audio then after that its attribute src controls loops muted as per your requirement then these are the audio tag attributes src then controls autoplay loop preload and muted and um, for inserting the video tag that the command used is video and these are the syntax of the video tag and these are the attributes of the video tag src controls autoplay loop preload then muted height width and poster these three attributes are extra from the audio file Hope this is clear. This section is very clear for you. And do practice at home. Okay. We'll come with another section soon. Till then, keep learning. Keep sharing the content to your friends also. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And hit the bell button to get the notification. See you soon with a new video. Till then, stay safe. Stay healthy. Thank you all.